The Kurdish communities in London have been at the forefront of opposing our government's participation in imperialist wars over the last 13 or 14 years. So I'm very pleased to welcome to the stage now Mehmet Aksoy, who's speaking on behalf of the UK Kurdish Assembly. Mehmet. A hundred years ago, international powers led by the British and French and their cronies in the Middle East divided the Kurdish lands and separated the Kurdish people along four nation states. A hundred years later, today, they are trying to do the same thing, trying to keep the status quo, trying to prevent the Kurdish people from determining their futures and from gaining freedom from imperialism, from local dictatorships, from reactionary regimes. Three years ago, the people of northern Syria, the Kurdish people, and their friends, the Assyrians, the Armenians, had a popular communitarian revolution, which look for, looks forward to gender equality, a, barter, a possible barter economy, an alternative to everything that has gone on before. Today, in Kobani, where this revolution started, ISIS have been attacking the people, a 500,000 population, most of them now refugees, with developed military taken from their siege of Mosul. Developed military which was brought there by the American government, by the British government, by imperialist powers. On the 17th of September, Turkey sent over a train with tanks, missiles, and developed military technology to slaughter, to strangle the resistance in Kobani. Now I'm here before you today to call on the solidarity once again of the British working classes, women, youths, to stand with the Kurdish people to defend the revolution in, what, in Western Kurdistan, which for most here is northern Syria, unfortunately. The Kurdish people, when the time comes to sit at the negotiation table, need to have the freedom for self-determination. You here need to support the Kurdish people in that. We do not have any other friends, we say, but the mountains. But I know all around the world, Kurds have friends from all different nations, religious groups, ethnicities. So stand with the Kurdish people for an alternative in the Middle East, for a socialist revolution that is on our doorstep to defend Kobani, to defend the revolution in Rojava. Long live the Kurdish resistance in the Middle East. Long live the people's resistance in the Middle East. Thank you very much.